boys and girls. We're back with another book. This one's a little bit different. This is a You Choose book. It's called What Should Danny Do? And we get to make some choices. We're going to choose, we're going to read it, and we're going to choose bad choices and see what happens to Danny at school. Hi, my name is Danny, and I'm a superhero in training. I have lots of cool superpowers. I can make myself invisible. I am super strong. I have x-ray vision. And even though learning how to fly is harder than I thought it would be, I'm not giving up anytime soon. I've been testing a superpower called the power to choose at home. And today I'm going to practice using it at school. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you reach an ending, you can start over and change your choices. Then we'll see how powerful the power to choose really is. Ready? Let's go. Oh no! This morning I was caught by the evil Dr. Ninjaro, but I have no fear. After a hundred thousand minutes, I'm finally on the brink of escaping. His laser beam dungeon is no match for me. Danny, it's time to get ready for school, Mommy calls out. Oh man, I'm busy trying to escape from Dr. Ninjaro. If I stop now, I may never get out. What should Danny do? Should he continue playing or stop playing and get ready for school? We're going to make the poor choices today. We're going to say he's going to continue playing. He's going to ignore his mom. That's probably not a good idea. There's no way I'm going to let Dr. Ninjaro beat me. I find my way through the laser beams and finally reach the ladder to the secret escape hatch. Just then, Mommy calls out, three minutes till the bus is here. Three minutes? Oh man, Dr. Ninjaro had me tangled in a time warp. I hurry and get dressed. But finding my other shoe takes forever. Then I remember that today is show and tell. I quickly grab Webster, my tarantula, and put him in my backpack. I run outside, but I'm too late. Daddy takes me to school, so he'll be late to work. He doesn't seem happy about it. Look at dad's face. Not happy. I finally get to school and zoom into class. I'm late. So I don't get to sit next to my best friends, Maddie and Jakey, during show and tell. I tiptoe to an empty spot and wait for my turn. Finally, Mrs. Blakely calls me up. I reach into my backpack, but Webster isn't there. Uh-oh. I can't find Webster, I say. Is he a hamster? Miss Blakely asks. No, he's a... Just then, Maddie shrieks. Ah! I zoom to grab Webster, but Maddie is still mad. How could you let him loose? Maddie asks. It was an accident. I know it was an accident, Mrs. Blakely said, but you have to be responsible. Please find a way to keep your tarantula safe and away from others. I find what I need and build a cage, but by the time I'm done, I'm late to recess. Not going so good. Oh man, the soccer game already started and that's my favorite sport. They're still picking teams for basketball, so I use my super speed to rush over. Alexis picks me, but the teams end up so unfair. Jonas, Sarah, Mario, and Paul are all so good. I'm worried, even with my superpowers, there's no way we can win. What should Danny do? Should he leave and look for something else to play? Or try his best and have fun no matter what? Hmm. We're going to leave and look for something else. We're going to just... Let the friends figure it out. Let's go play something else. 
I won't play with teams this unfair. I walk off the court. Come on, Danny, Alexis calls. They have more players than us if you don't play. I don't care. We'll lose anyway, I say. I look for something else to play, but nothing looks fun. I'm super bored. After recess, Maddie seems upset. I thought your spider would kill me, she says. I laugh. Tarantulas aren't going to kill you. It's not funny, Danny. I don't want to play with you for the rest of the day. And she stomped off. Back in class, Miss Blakely is teaching some new math. I'm not in the mood. I can't stop thinking about how mean Maddie was to me. What should Danny do? Should he apologize to Maddie for letting Webster loose? Or find a way to get even with Maddie for being mean to him? I think he should find a way to get even. He's not going to apologize. That would be the right thing to do. I have the perfect idea. I turn my mouth, math worksheet over and draw a picture of Mad Maddie. I show it to her, but she starts crying and takes it straight to Miss Blakely. Uh-oh. Who drew this, she demands. Danny, Maddie says, still crying. Danny, you need to stay in and see me after school, Miss Blakely said. Oh no, now I'm in serious trouble. Later at lunch, Jakey and Maddie are mad at me, so I just sit alone. After I finish eating, Mario crashes right into me. His chocolate pudding spills all over my shirt. What should Danny do? Should he wash the pudding off? Or is he going to yell at Mario? Hmm. I think we're going to stick with it. We're going to say he's going to yell at Mario. He's not going to be nice. He's going to be mean. He's having a bad day. Mario shouldn't have gotten away. Watch where you're going, meanie, I yell. Mario sneers. At least I don't have mud all over my shirt. I'm so mad I throw the rest of my lunch at him and he throws his lunch back at me. We get sent to the principal's office and I have to go in first. Do you know why you're here, Danny? Mr. Kimball asks. I've had a terrible day, I say. Do you know why your day was so terrible? I made a lot of poor choices. I start to cry. I have to call your parents and ask them to pick you up, he says. I cry even harder. While I'm waiting for Mommy, Mr. Kimball says, no matter what is happening to you, how you react is always your choice. If you use your power to choose wisely tomorrow, I'm sure you'll have a much better day. So I don't have time to go back and read the entire book, but how about we try to change it up a little bit. We're going to go backwards to this part here. And instead of going to find something else to play, we're going to say Danny tries his best and has fun no matter what. Let's see what happens if he changes his mind. He started off with a bad day, but let's see what happens if he fixes it. I call my team together. I know they're good, I say, but we'll try our best and we could win. We start playing. The game is super close. With less than a minute left, we're down by four points. I get the ball and use my super speed to run to the hoop. I jump super high and score. Yes! Now we're down by just two points. Jonah takes the ball out, but Alexis steals it. She passes the ball to me. Hurry, Danny, she yells. There isn't much time left. I dribble straight to the three-point line and throw the ball up towards the basket. If I make this shot, we'll win the game. The bell rings as the ball flies through the air. Everyone watches and holds their breath. The ball rolls around the rim, but flies out. Oh man, so close. Jonah breathes a sigh of relief as we walk to class. You played a great game, Danny, he says. I didn't think your team had a chance, but you almost run. You almost won at the buzzer. Thanks, I say. I'm happy I decided to give it a try instead of giving up. So that started off better. 
He didn't miss the bell going into recess. In class, Miss Blakely is teaching us how to use a number line in math. I don't like standing in line to go to recess, so I don't understand why numbers need to stand on a line either. It's confusing. Does anyone have any questions, she asks. I look around, and it seems like everyone else understands. If I raise my hand, my friends might laugh at me. I'm not a clown. I'm a superhero. What should Danny do? Should he raise his hand and ask the question, or not raise his hand? We're going to make a good choice this time. We're going to raise, his, raise our hand and ask a question. It's okay to ask questions if you don't understand something. So let's see what happens. I know I can figure this out with a little help. I turn on my super focus and raise my hand. How am I supposed to use the number line to get the answer, I ask. That's a great question, Danny, Miss Blakely says. She explains again, and I finally get it. Score! I finish my worksheet and double check it. Mario whispers to me, thanks for asking that question, Danny. I wasn't sure what I was doing either. When I get home, Mommy asks me how my day was. I tell her everything that had happened. Sounds like your day was okay, she says. Do you think that was because of how you used your power to choose? I think so, I say. And if I use it even more wisely tomorrow, I might have an even better day. So he started off rough, but then he made some good choices and it kind of turned his day around. His mom's giving him a snack. He's happy. He had a pretty good day after he lost his tarantula. I wonder what would have happened if he'd listened to his mom at the very beginning. We'll have to read that some other time and find out. Remember to use your power to choose wisely so that you can have a great day too. Bye-bye.